You've been expecting me? Wait, where are they? Lord Redgrave. Welcome back to the Ascalon Club, Lance Bearer. Please tell us the good news. Have you put an end to the epidemic? My hypothesis was correct. Doris Fletcher was the source of the contagion in this part of town. She was probably the first to be infected. And you cleansed her before the hunters, I've been told. Well done, Dr. Reed. You thrust your lance and pierced the very heart of the corruption. But some questions remain. The important thing is, we won a major battle for the survival of London. For that, we salute you. Thank you, my lord. Now, I have another task for another you. Another one. One of the utmost importance. They Perhaps all are. even more so than the previous. I'm listening. It's time for you to perform a most sacred duty for the club. I want you to recruit a new vampire. Recruit a new vampire? Are you sending me on some sort of diplomatic mission? Not exactly. I want you to make Aloysius Dawson the Econ he Can deserves give, to be. Give him your blood? I'm not sure I'm the best candidate for such a task. I can hear the hesitation in your voice, Dr. Reed. I admire a man of principles. But in this matter, there is more at stake than your moral comfort. It's not a moral question, Lord Redgrave. It's the responsibility of giving immortality to a man I barely know. Nonsense. And a man I want to Aloysius kill. Aloysius has been a member of the Ascalon for years. This is but the fruition of a long-held plan. How would you like me to proceed? Aloysius is waiting for you at the Dawson Estate. Once the deed is done, I'll join you there to celebrate this momentous occasion. Can I just... Hmm. Before I go, I have a few questions. All right, I'm listening. Not everybody can survive a transformation. Can't I just embrace him and then tell him, you know what, he didn't survive a transformation. That's... <laughs> What I would do? Why Aloysius Dawson? Because he is about to die. And he just may be the most influential man in England. After me, of course. Did he choose me? No, I did. My decision is very recent, to say the least. But it is entirely mine. Does he know I'm coming? He can't wait to become your progeny, Dr. Reed. Especially now that you have shown how strong your lineage is through your sister. Can't we just let him die? I don't want that kind of man to live forever. How would you like me to proceed? Don't worry. Aloysius has had many years to prepare himself. He has studied our kind for decades. So shall I just let him drink my blood? Yes. Aloysius will gratefully sup on your blood. His heart will slow, then stop, but he will rise again as one of us, an immortal. I saw that their hearts don't completely stop, though. Is there any danger? Our blood alters a mortal body so deeply that some don't survive the metamorphosis. They and die. I'm so glad. For good. But Mr. Dawson has been preparing himself for a long time. I hope he doesn't survive it. You invited Lady Ashbury. Wouldn't that be breaking one of your cardinal rules? No women allowed. Not allowed as members, no. But considering the circumstances, I thought you'd like to have her here to witness your triumph. So it's a temporary admittance, then. Something of a bargain, considering the crisis we're currently facing. Why is it so suspicious Goodbye, that Lord he Redgrave. suddenly brought her here? Wait, no, 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 no. Understandably, you have questions. Wait, I was, Goodbye, I had Lord something Redgrave. to tell him. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have asked the questions. There was something to the right side. I think we're safe for now. I pursued and killed the last hunter with my own hand as he tried to escape the club. Are you all right, Jonathan? Lord Redgrave has just ordered me to turn Aloysius Dawson. To make him my progeny. I see. And how do you feel about this? Very bad. I... Tell me your advice. I'd like your advice on the matter. The real question here is, why has his lordship given you this task? Do you think it's some sort of trap? Do you really want to know what I think about this? I yes. do, yes. To make an immortal of a soulless blackguard like Aloysius Dawson. 
will only lead to a disaster for London. Yep. The man is already. I dead said the inside. same. Oh my Should gosh, we agree. Perhaps politely suggest that Lord Redgrave turn the man into a vampire himself. Don't you dare, my dear. Yeah, I also thought According to what I've recently discovered, his lordship could kill you for even broaching the subject. Yep. Really? Why? I've recently found proof that the Earl of Bristol is of lesser I need, also thought that capable of creating skulls. I also thought that he's not the progeny of that William blah blah but only uses it for influence. Oh my god, I'm Please so good. Tell me more about your recent investigation. <laughs> as long as you lower your voice. Maybe we should go out and say you can even hear heartbeats. So us whispering, I don't think they can hear us. Let's go home. What would you have me do about Dawson? The man is dangerous. Did you know he plans to build a wall to separate the healthy rich from the sickly poor? Oh, I know. Do not make him your project. I agree. What would you do? The man's dying already. Let the reaper harvest the rotten fruit that is his soul. I agree. Oh my gosh. Okay. Are you sure your information about Redgrave is correct? He says he's the progeny of the great knight William Marshall. Who lived some nine centuries ago that's a lie lord redgrave is unable to create anything but skulls if the poor soul survive at all how can you be sure the information was correct i made the acquaintance of a most interesting informer while investigating your maker from whom i learned the truth about lord redgrave why so vindictive you suddenly sound like you're angry forgive me Jonathan, I hate myself for it, but I feel such pride in my discovery. I'm afraid I just can't help it. Which is? He did serve William Marshall. And yes, the blood he covets as a token does truly belong to that legendary knight. But he was never his progeny. His lineage is not so noble. I knew it. What would happen if I made Dawson an Ekon like myself? You would add a powerful immortal into a suffering world. An immortal who already craves authority. Maybe I could teach him control. Like no, he's me. his all, Lead him down the right all path. his life he Mr. couldn't Dawson go down the right path. Searching for a way to cheat death. I'm sure he has spent decades dreaming of how he'd spend eternity as a tyrant. Goodbye for now, Elizabeth. Goodbye, my dear. Please be careful. Oh, this is gonna be so interesting. It looks like vampires have to obey Mendel's laws when producing progeny. Powers pass from one generation to another. That's why Dawson wants me to sire him. Hmm, I still don't understand why me, why I have to do it. Don't they have more people? Around here. It's locked, all right. I should find another way to get into the neighborhood. Oh. But I did see an exclamation mark, and I'm so afraid for them to disappear. So I came all this way for Doctor Swansea before turning Aloysius Dawson. Dawson. What news, Jonathan? I've heard you've now joined the vampire elite of London. Did Elizabeth tell you? So it's Elizabeth now. My, my. Wow. Things are moving quickly. I know, right? I turn my back for a moment and away you go. Yeah, it's not Lady Ashbury anymore. Have you seen Lady Ashbury recently? Yes, she popped in yesterday. Told me about your new friends in the West End. Not Just really a courtesy, friends. Yes, and no. She was en route to the docks, I think, following a lead concerning your maker. I may have found the source of the contagion. Doris Fletcher, the actress. Thankfully, in the end, she was destroyed by fire. Really? Oh, please, do tell me more. Doris was a heavily mutated skull. Almost a new breed entirely. It's as if the disease had completely altered her mind and body. Highly contagious. As if the disease had taken control of her will? Yes. Once a beautiful and brilliant woman, she became motivated by hate alone. 
Oh, she was a beauty. I met her when she visited the hospital to cheer up the sick. Too bad the fire destroyed her. But it was probably for the best. Mm, but she had hate before turning into a scalvo. Have you heard of similar cases? No, I don't think so. Except perhaps it reminds me of an old report from the Brotherhood. Well, more an article, really. What was it about? The author, a friar, referred to a rare form of contagion in a skull he observed during the Black Death. The carrier was always female. They called them icors. Yep, I read about this. How's the situation at the Pembroke? We're still holding out. Question is, for how long? What we really need is hope, Jonathan. Hope for a better tomorrow. I'll come back later. Thank you, Edgar. Always a pleasure to see you, my friend. Hmm. Okay. Going back. I didn't even notice that here it says Dawson, Dawson. Eastern Horse. And this is the Ascalon. Huh. Funny how now I'm going to make him into a vampire. But I hope I won't have to. Like, just make it seem like he didn't survive it, you know? The transformation. You're I think this passage could lead me close to Alicia Dawson's mansion. You're mine! <laughs> Good old fashioned ow. Melee. Hmm. What can I say? I really enjoy it. Ow, no, no. He's 10, 11 levels higher than me. And yet I'm still able to keep hold my ground with him. It's insane. Don't you know? You're bleeding. This is my territory. Got anything, buddy? Bada bing, bada boom, and he's dead. Oh, so that's how. Huh? Why is it? Why is it so hard to get to one guy to transform him? That is strange. I guess you guys want to do this where nobody can see us? Why does this feel so weird? I hope it's not a trap. Get up there! Oh my gosh! But maybe it won't be. Why not just make it in that house? See? Now I have people that I need to kill. And he says for Ascalon. Dude, I am Ascalon. I am a member. You need to respect me and listen to my orders. How dare you do this to me? He said that I have caught blonde or whatever that was. I'll just take care of him fast, okay? Then I'll, I'll cut this out. He's level 32, but why is it that that werewolf at the start was the scariest boss of them all to me? No one 
You know what? You're kind of annoying me at this point. I might actually have to use my shotgun on you. And want to use my bullets on you. But that was too close. And I don't like taking chances. I'm sorry. Come here. You're not dead? Okay. Damn. I'll give you that. The violence of Vulcans. Let me read that. Hmm, strange. I wasn't fast enough to press tab. And now it's not in my inventory. I don't know why. Well, too bad. My name is... So her daughter disappeared with someone with fancy clothes. Her name was Louise. Louise's father was determined to but find who? and save her. I have no idea who Louis Louise is, but now I know that I can find her. Okay, that's a just a big circle. Okay. Wait, what? Louise? This is now my domain, young Echo. How long are you going to keep me locked in here? Ouch. Disgusting asshole! My wife or not, I'll never be your wife! <laughs> Disgusting asshole! Ah. Even the shotgun he built on me to kill it. Nice. I love sh oh. I don't like the control though. Pressing control. Read some diary. <laughs> You'll find someone who's beautiful and gentle with a nice temper. Well, <laughs> they're already. <laughs> he failed, but this reminds me of a movie, I forgot which one, with a guy as well who keeps people, I think, locked up. He's trying to to make her marry him. <laughs> oh, poor girl. Louise, you're fine now. Why is that so funny? I think it's a parody or something towards that movie or series or I don't know I've never watched it Miss Teasdale are you all right how do you know my name who are you my name is Dr. Reed I managed to track you down thanks to your father so my father really was looking after me this man this vampire told me my father was dead is it true I I'm afraid so miss. I'm so sorry for your loss but you are free to go as your abductor is no more I suppose my jailer also killed my father, didn't I think he? So. Thankfully, so he did not search your father's corpse, where I found his notes describing where he might find you. You should read them. I must find my father's body. He deserves a proper burial. But do you need medical? Oh, I can't, I think. Goodbye, Miss Teasdale. And be careful. Until we meet again. Are you okay? Yeah, I guess I can't. It was red, the E. I was trying to spam. Strong woman, though. Knows what she wants. Not afraid of no vampire. 
vampire or not, I don't care what the frick you are. <laughs> I'm not gonna be your wife. <laughs> Finally, why did I go through all this trouble to get to you? I just heard him talk, Mr. Jonathan. I can finally hear. Who was the one talking? Eh, I'll find out later. Too many unknown people. This is for next time. Right now I want to end with... Whoa, you guys are synchronized! Whoa, I think these are two twins. That's really cool. <laughs> okay. Dawson of Dawson's. Where are you? Oh, there's a hideout. Nice. Oh, wait. I have to ask the inhabitants about him. Twins, huh? Wait, they're not together anymore. Oh, they are coming back. <laughs> this is so interesting and funny. Come on, raise your foot at the same time. Come on, come on, I want to see it. Yay! Look at them! Oh my gosh, you're twins. Synchronized. Okay, wait, wait, wait. No, no. I want to talk to you guys. Wait. Good evening, sir. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. Do you need my help? Yes, please. Would you be kind enough to tell me what the time is? That's all you need to know. Well, is it not important to know? As important as where you are? Or who you are? I suppose you're right. And who are you then, sir? I am Agamemnon Baker. Like my brother, I think we need to leave this city immediately. And my brother and I rarely agree on anything. Well, he needs to listen to you, buddy. May I ask what you're doing outside at this hour of night? I don't know. You should ask my brother instead. You don't know? It was his idea in the first place. You must have your own ideas. I know, From right? what I have managed to understand, I guess we're supposed to wait here. Waiting for someone to come. That's suspicious. What can you tell me about this part of town? It's the only place I've considered myself happy. Or at least that's what I believe. Unfortunately, it's time to leave. Why is that? Because I'm not feeling happy here anymore. Are you? That's a good way to, to put it. I guess not. Mr. Reed wouldn't be too happy. No, I'm not. Good for you. It's a good thing to have a clear idea of where you stand concerning crucial questions. Don't you think? Honestly, yeah. What can you tell me about your brother? He's older than me, I think. You think? But the important thing is that I really hope I'll die before him. Grief what? will just kill me, you know? Is that all? Pericles is very attached to this city, and without my insistence, he would never leave this place. We don't often agree on anything, you see? Yeah, you said that already. May I ask why you've not gone already, if you're so exasperated by this long wait? I believe fear is holding us back. My brother would have said it's laziness, but it's just because he's prouder than I am. Maybe it's just hard to get out of a comfort zone, you know? It's kind of a scary world out there sometimes. Who are you waiting for, exactly? The more I think about it, the more I believe it's not exactly a person we are waiting for. But what else could it be, then? A I change? Don't know. A feeling? Yeah. An event? When it feels right. An impulse? How can I tell? Something that would allow us to leave this trap. I'm afraid I'm not following you. What kind of trap are you talking about? Have you ever felt like life trapped you in a role that does not fit you? Yes. That you're not in your place? That sort of trap. Trap? And you think leaving London will free you? At least it will give us the chance to be free. That's more than our present situation. Hope, Doctor. Hope is what truly drives true. mankind. That's so true. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? You should ask that question to my brother instead. Personally, I've not seen Aloysius for many years. I think I need Goodbye to for now, ask everything. All the questions to your brother. He seems in charge here. He doesn't even allow me to talk to him. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I be of assistance? Dr. Reed? Dr. Reed? Is there anything wrong? No, it's just... 
Your name sounds familiar. Mm -hmm. And your he's, face. He's kind of Have famous. we met before? I think I would remember. So I suppose the answer is no. That's odd. I'm certain I've already heard of you. Maybe a new My name is Pericles this. Baker. Does that mean anything to you? I'm afraid not, sir. But it's a pleasure to meet you anyway. Hmm. Hey, maybe they're psychic. The pleasure is mine, I guess. I only wish I could remember when it was that we met. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Baker. What are you doing out here in the middle of the night? We are waiting. Waiting for someone. And or why something. are you waiting for this person? Because we need to leave this city as soon as possible. Why do you want to leave the city? I'm not really sure. Yeah, it's a feeling. Can it's you gonna tell be me a war. about this district? As you like asking questions so much, would you allow me to ask you one first? Please, be my guest. Do you like this city? Um... I don't know. I do want to save it. I don't know. I was born and raised in London. But I feel like a stranger here recently. You didn't answer my question, sir. But I don't blame <laughs> you. Perhaps it's better that way. Yeah, I don't like to give an answer. And what do you do, sir? For a living, that is. I stopped working when I decided to leave. When I realized what I wanted. Wanted something this city can't provide. And what is that? Tell me more about why you want to leave London, then. I just... don't belong here anymore. I had to convince my brother to leave London because I know we need to find another life out of the city. I thought he's the one that wants to leave and you don't want to. But what were you doing before you took this decision? Does it really matter anymore? Considering the past seems so pointless to me. I have lived in this city all my life. And now I think it's over. Pericles, tell me why your brother disagrees with your presence here. Agamemnon is naive sometimes. Although don't consider him a fool, sir. He is often more lucid than wow, you. Wow, I did. Oh, I did. Oh my gosh, I guessed it. They both can't, both can't explain why you're here. At least yeah, they you have both a feeling. Have the same difficulty I know this explaining feeling. Explaining what you're doing, and for what reason. But is that not a common problem for all mortals? More? Wait, mortals? Maybe they're not human. What can you tell me about your brother? If you are searching for a pleasant chat, you should speak with him instead of wasting your time with me. He's always been the more gentle of us. That's it. That's all you can tell me about him. For the time being, true kindness is the most valuable quality, my good sir. I think it's loyalty. Who are you waiting for? I'm sure he has a name. I really can't answer that question, since I don't know that person. And why is that? This person is mostly my brother's acquaintance. I don't even know his real name. Only that this man could help us leave this city once and for all. But why would you need this person's help to leave London anyway? Well, I thought we should have left this cursed place already, but my brother convinced me to stay a while longer, and... Here we are. I'm afraid there might be a war at any moment, so you guys really should leave the city as soon as, po as soon as possible. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? I've heard this is a man who has searched for his place in the world for a long time. I hope he found it. Uh, not in a good way. Goodbye, Mr. Baker. Oh, I see somebody downstairs. Some violence and madness are now contagious. Good evening, sir. May I ask you what you're doing here at this late hour? I'm conducting an investigation about the epidemic in this part of town. And who are you, sir? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. May I ask who you are and why all the questions? I'm Detective Inspector Charles Albright from Scotland Yard. And I don't find your answers convincing. Yep. <laughs> what is a Pembroke doctor doing in the West End at this time of night? Yeah, I'm trying to turn somebody. Well, or maybe kill them. I don't know. I will see when the time comes. Oh my gosh, you actually want to tell them that... Oh, I really have no time for this. I really have no time for this, Detective Inspector. Call the Pembroke Hospital if you doubt my identity. And let me do my job. I'm doing my job too, Dr. Reed. And mine consists of arresting criminals who feel they're above suspicion. Hmm. 
What can you tell me about this district? I'm the one asking questions. <laughs> especially when there's a killer on the loose. There's a killer on the loose? Is it the Reaper? And what about the epidemic? We both know the situation is critical, don't we, Doctor? Colleagues of mine die almost every day. Jack the Ripper? What killer? I'm not going to discuss that with a civilian, sir. Haven't I told you about the investigation I'm conducting? Perhaps I could help you. All right, without giving you too much information, I'll tell you this. I'm convinced there is a homicidal maniac on the loose, using the epidemic to disguise his kills. Hmm. Could be. Why are you investigating at night? Criminals rarely act in daylight, you know. But since you are also a night worker, have you noticed anything strange which requires police <laughs> attention? You have no idea. Um. Oh my gosh! No, no, I don't. I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. <laughs> Actually, I have not noticed anything. Everything's so peaceful in this city. No, I've noticed nothing odd. All right, but keep your eyes open, though. What are you really doing here? I told you. I'm a detective inspector from Scotland Yard, investigating suspicious cases in the area. Do you work alone? Yes. The situation is difficult for the police. Many of us are sick, and since the summer strike, most men apply a work to rule on their patrols. What about the situation in the East End? Why are there no police there to protect the civilians? Yeah, I only know, it's a shame, but we just don't have enough men to cover the entire city. Tell me about that homicidal maniac. Tell me all you know about that homicidal maniac you're looking for. I'm not even sure there is only one. The wounds are always the same, but the modus operandi varies. Are there two fangs? Sometimes violent and brutal, sometimes precise and swift. Yeah, How sometimes scowl, sometimes vampires. The same wounds. That's my main problem. If my theory is correct, maybe we're facing a group of individuals sharing the same violent tendencies. Perhaps a sadist cult. Oh, good thing you didn't mention the Asklon Club. But at the same time, I do want them dead, so I don't know. Maybe I should have. I don't know. What are you investigating, exactly? I currently have a few missing persons cases. Mr. Tadao Kamura. Oh, he's Mr. fine. Louise Teasdale. Oh, both of them are fine. I'm afraid they may have been abducted by my mysterious maniac. Tell me about Louise Teasdale. She's a waitress. Her father reported her missing. We don't have enough men to search for her, sadly. Do you have any idea where she could be? No. But I feel she's been abducted. She went to a pub a few nights ago and vanished. I thought about the sewers, but... I'm not equipped for such an investigation. I was. Tell me about Mr. Kimura. Mr. Kimura is a businessman who has been missing for a few days. He didn't go home, didn't go to work, didn't go back to his family. Where was he last seen? Mr. Kimura was last seen at the Royal Observatory in Greenwich. I followed a possible lead in the West End, but I found nothing. Do you know Aloysius? Do you know anything in particular about a man called Aloysius Dawson? Who doesn't know the man? I think he intervened personally to put an end to the police strike of last August. What else can you tell me about him? Aloysius Dawson is exactly the kind of powerful and influential man who could commit murder and get away with it. With just one phone call. I agree. Can you believe Goodbye, that these guys Albright. want Goodbye, me to make Dr. him Jonathan Reed. an I'm immortal? Sure we'll talk again soon. Oh. What has happened to the London that I knew? Wow, that sounded kind of ominous, but... Imagine him being a freaking, you know, living forever, this kind of man. Hello, ladies. Good evening, Miss Price. I'm Dr. Reed. Miss Price, you know Do you her? remember me? Dr. Reed? Even I don't yes, remember you. of course. You are the doctor who healed me and my mum. I did? Good evening, Dr. Reed. Good to see you too, Carol. Are you all right? Oh, yes. I, I did not hurt myself recently. I know how to take care of myself now. I'm almost a grown-up. Oh, I'm proud. Why are you awake at night, Carol? I am helping my mother in her shop. It's not easy, but I'm a grown-up now. Yeah, you said that already. I'm sure your mother is grateful for your help. I do the best I can. 
but I'm so clumsy sometimes. I, I, I drop things. I injure myself. It's a, it's a good thing my mother has the patience of an angel. <laughs> and don't worry, I'm also clumsy. Why is work not easy? Is something or someone bothering you? Oh no, most people are gentle with me. But, but I'm so nervous sometimes. I, I pay no attention and hurt myself. Good thing my mum learned first aid. It's okay. You'll get the hang of it. What can you tell me of the people living nearby? I don't speak to many people. Except our customers. It's not easy, not to, easy make to make friends. friends. Oh, I knew it! Oh. But the epidemic is even more difficult. What can you tell me about the epidemic? Some of our regular customers have left London. Some others only send their housemaids now. Everybody fears the contagion. I've even seen men with weapons. Oh yeah, the pre one. Have you no friends at all? No. Mr. Nithicut used to pass by and was always nice to me. Does he not come by anymore? No. Mum said he was weird. Always reciting poetry about a girl he'd met in white <laughs> Oh, what a rhyme of a poet. <laughs> I wonder who this camellia may be. <laughs> Do you enjoy working with your mother? Oh, yes, Doctor. My mother raised me alone after my father died. We've always lived together, and she has always watched over me. That's nice. Do you remember your father? No, I was just a baby then. My mother always told me how strong and good he was. Aww. Do you ever think about getting married now you're a woman? Oh no, Dr. Reed. Mum always says I'm still a child who has no idea how tough life can be. No husband would like a clumsy girl like me. Oh shush, you don't think like that. You seem like a very nice girl. Have you ever met the famous Aloysius Dawson? Yes. A very strange man. Not very I nice. Agree. What do you mean? He said he was ready to pay good money for rare books. And then laughed at what we showed him. Oh, wow. What a di- I, I don't- I won't finish that sentence. Do you need my medical attention? No, I, I'm alright, Mr. Reed. Well, I, I think I am. Yes, you are. Don't get in your head. Goodbye, Carol. I hope you can stay a little longer. I, I am sorry, I, I, I can't help you, sir. Perhaps you should talk with someone else instead. Did you, did you say that to me? Good evening, Miss Price. How are you tonight? Dr. Reed, I didn't know you had returned from the war. I had a new doctor when you left, but he's not as kind as you. Always glad to see a former patient in good condition. It's been a long time. Too long indeed. And as a token of my appreciation, I'll grant you the best price if you fancy buying anything from my humble shop. Her voice sounds like a, the voice actress for Doris Fletcher, which is also, I think, the actress for the Sith Warrior in Sweater. What can you tell me about yourself, Miss Price? I'm still managing my shop. The only difference is, since the quarantine, we're open at night. You, on the contrary, seem to have changed a lot. Ah, uh, does he look more dead? Really? Have I changed that much? It must have been the war. And the night shift since my return. Don't get me wrong, Dr. Reed, you're still handsome. Just maybe a little bit wiser. Oh. Serious. It suits you well. Oh, she wants to remarry, Mr. Reed. That's what she's hinting at. Tell me more about yourself. No new fiancé? Oh, you instantly Remember asked about a fiancé. I'm sure you must have a few suitors. Who would marry an old bat like myself? With oh, shush you as well. You're just business. like your daughter. As you know, I only fancy handsome men like yourself. Oh, 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 that's, that's a bit shallow. Have you noticed anything in particular in this part of town recently? Other than you coming back to cheer me up? Nothing at all, Dr. Reed. Oh, oh, I just realized what she said. Uh, okay, about Carol's gratitude. Carol's gratitude is exemplary. She seems determined never to leave you. I'm taking care of my daughter as well as I can. It's not always easy, but she's the best gift life gave me. But she'll probably leave you someday to live her own life. Will that be difficult for you? Why would she leave? Children sometimes stay with their parents until the end. Damn. But they know no one else will love them as much. 
Well, you need to give her more freedom. You're get getting in her head that she can't live without you, basically. Does your daughter still worry you, Miss Price? I, I, can't help you. I remember you were often concerned about her health when she was younger. Have you not seen Carol since you returned? She's almost a young woman now. But she'll always remain my sweet little baby. So you're less afraid? Some things never change. Carol is still too clumsy for her own good. Sometimes her innocence puts her in real danger. Help her find someone who will not take advantage of that innocence. Why would her innocence put her in danger? She does not realize how cruel life can be. Maybe I was a bad mother to protect her too much. My poor dear Carol. You have every reason to be cautious, Miss Price. Especially in these difficult times. Maybe you could talk with her, Dr. Reed. It would be nice to have a man here more often. We would both feel safer. Do you know Aloysius Dawson? Everybody knows him. He's only been to my shop once, though, looking for rare books and other intriguing antiques. Did he buy something from you? No, he left quickly. He almost laughed at my goods. Mr. Dawson may be a rich man, but you can't buy good manners. But Chow isn't Aloysius Roo. Dawson known for his philanthropy? That was before his brother Robert died in an aeroplane crash. Since then, the remaining twin has turned into a heartless tycoon. Interesting. May I look at your goods, Miss Price? It's always a pleasure to have you here, Dr. Reed. Take all the time you need. Oh my gosh, I have Sean's cross. I'm not gonna sell it. So, this is the guy that I saw from above. A red river, a song in the dark, the whispers of a sun. So many signs to interpret. I kind of lost knowledge. Oh, I did think that this might be Usher Talltree, the guy from the Brotherhood that Dr. Sansi was talking about. Are you? Jonathan Reed. At last we meet. The cards warned me you would visit tonight. I beg your pardon, sir. Do I know you? Of course you do. Our mutual friend, Dr. Swansea, can't speak highly enough of you. My name is Usher. Usher Tawdry. Yep. You are the leader of the Brotherhood. Wow, he's a leader? Primate of the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole, to be precise. I'm really glad we met tonight. I love it when the cards tell me a truth. The cards told you to expect... Do they lie to yes, you? Yes, they tell me everything. They told me that you struggle hard not to take too many lives. What can you tell me about the neighborhood? I really don't know. I don't often go outside. And when I do, it's usually to quite distant destinations. So you see nothing in the stars for me. You're a poor fortune teller then. Oh, oh don't I can say that. Many things, but they will only concern you, not the city. For example, I know that you offered your sister the final rest she asked for. Well, that many people know. Do the cards speak of my Mary? No. It's the burning aura of guilt that precedes you everywhere you go. Read my fortune, then. You have been chosen, Jonathan. I see on you the mark of a strong being, so powerful it needn't even reveal its strength. Thanks. Tell me about yourself. What do you do here, besides turning cards in the middle of the night? I'm for most... A charlatan. For a few, I'm a vampire. And for you, I'm the Wait, primate you're a of St. Paul's Stole. That didn't click in my head. Some believe you to be a vampire. Who? The guard of Prewen, who else? For a time, they sent spies to observe my activities, and they even broke into my home to gather proof. Did they steal anything from you? A personal notebook they quickly took to their headquarters. All they had to do is to look at me. I'm aging. What better and definite proof that I'm not an immortal? Do you want your notebook back? If you ever find it, I'd be glad to have it I back, thought of his course. Eyes I do were ask like golden, one like a thing, vampire though. or something. Do not read it, Jonathan. Uh... Some secrets are not meant to be revealed, even to immortals. That's a hard thing to ask me. 
For how long have you been a primate? It was 15 years last year. What do you make of Dr. Swansea? Edgar is a brilliant and dedicated man. A man of his time, sometimes a little muddled, but always looking for new paths and new concepts. Yeah, true. Can you read the cards for me? Are you sure you want to know what they will reveal? Yes, I am. I don't want any spoilers. It will cost you 50 shillings. Um, no, I don't want to. I don't want any spoilers. Do you require medical attention? I'm fine, thank you, Jonathan. How did you learn about Mary? And spare me the hocus pocus parlor tricks. The truth, now! Swansea told me. Nah, <laughs> I knew it. Don't look at me like that. His task is to observe and gather information about vampires. He had to tell me about Mary. She could have survived as a vampire. If only she had given me a chance to explain. If only I could have found the words. Not all vampires accept their new condition. Since suicide is impossible, you have to find a way to get someone else to relieve the pain. I could have saved her. No, Jonathan. May I ask you about the Brotherhood? Of course. But I must warn you that there are some subjects we consider taboo, in spite of our fondness and acceptance of your kind. I know there is no love lost between the Guard of Prewen and the Brotherhood. What caused this rift? It was 1801. The Brotherhood was stronger then, a strength that made them hungry for ever greater power. An argument divided them, and the wound never healed. What was the nature of the disagreement? The problem was that both sides considered themselves the legitimate heirs of the original Brotherhood. We divide up the books, the relics, not always fairly or with consideration. Who founded the Brotherhood? That's precisely the kind of question I cannot answer. It is Your delicate. cards can't help you. It may you. reveal some of our secret traditions. So you're not just a club of academics and scholars. Once upon a time, very long ago, the Brotherhood did more than simply study the vampires. They took actions to eliminate the more ferocious and corrupted. Do you require medical attention? I'm fine, thank you, Jonathan. Okay. Goodbye, sir. Until we meet again. I rarely wander. Yet it amuses me to converse with your kind. A red river, a song. Is this his mansion? It does look like a mansion. I do not look forward to this. Dawson's mansion. Here I am at last. But the question remains. Am I ready to make a dying man my progeny? Uh, a dying man? Sure. Aloysius. Dawson. Dawson. Nope. And you know what this means? Time to loot everything. Now where is that old bugger? Or is he downstairs? Yeah, he is here. Well, I looted everything upstairs first, so... Oh! Finally you're here, Dr. Reed. What took you so long? I had to pass several of your barricades and outposts to access your mansion, sir. Death, pestilence surround us, and time is against me. I see you've gathered some of the most expensive, albeit experimental, blood transfusion equipment available. All this could be so useful in a hospital. Yes, yes. Since Lord Redgrave sent me a doctor to perform my conversion, I thought you might find some of these devices useful. Most thoughtful. But tonight I'm not here as a physician. But I feel reassured that a specialist such as yourself would help me to escape the Reaper. No, I'm your Ripper. Very well. But before I proceed, I have a few questions. If you must, but be quick, for I don't have much time left in this life. First of all, I need to be sure that you know exactly what is going to happen to you, sir. I can assure you I'm as informed as any man can be. I have planned for this moment, Dr. Reed. Planned very carefully. 
I'm the only vampire in the room for now, so please indulge me. All right, all right. What is it you wish to ask? You'll need to feed on warm blood. Blood from mortals. How do you feel about that? I'm rich, Dr. Reed, and powerful. I'm sure I'll be able to acquire all the blood I need without ever having to sully my own hands. I will become your maker. Do you understand what that means? Well, I certainly won't consider you my liege or some such drivel. You can be assured of that. Oh, wow, no respect. What do you know about the guard of Prewen? What I do know is that I'll crush anyone or anything that would dare to oppose me. Anything and anyone. Let's move on then. Please, I'm cold and tired. I feel my life waning with every moment. But first, before you embrace immortality, what would you do with such a gift? That's a rather impertinent question, Dr. Reed. And I will do as I please. Answer me all the same. What will your first action be as an immortal? To save London. I will finance the most efficient quarantine ever seen. I will build a wall that will separate the sick boroughs from the healthy ones. Who gave you the right to decide the fate of thousands of people? My money. My money and my pending immortality gives me the needed authority, Doctor. I'm a businessman. I'm used to tough decisions. No wonder people call money the devil's eye. You really plan to build a quarantine wall across London? Yes, it will be tall and strong, separating the wheat from the chaff. Oh, you decide who's weak, huh? By doing so, you will also create two separate prisons. Come, sir. An eminent doctor like yourself knows that such radical measures have proved efficient in the past. Let me guess. You mean to isolate the rich from the poor? This is a desperate measure for desperate times. England must prevail, Doctor, no matter the cost. I don't think and I don't believe in no matter the cost. Quarantine is not a bad idea, medically speaking. But I'm convinced this epidemic will not be contained by mere walls. As long as the right people are on the right side of the wall, that's all that matters. No, that's not all, all that matters. But you can't guarantee infection will not spread. Just one contagious carrier would be enough to create an apocalypse. The apocalypse is already knocking at the gate. We must be strong now. What if a new outbreak happens inside your walls? You'll have created a giant trap. That won't happen, as oh, long as really? we dispose of anyone that is contaminated, as soon as they are spotted. People could do that on purpose, you know, put someone that's going to contaminate inside of your trap. I've heard enough. It's time to proceed. At last! All right, do what you have to do. If it hurts, so be it. I've been preparing such a long time for this. You don't deserve immortality, Mr. Dawson. What? What are you prattling on about? I don't believe I've ever met a man so bereft of empathy. You, sir, are despicable. No! Wait! You can't! I made a deal with Lord Redgrave. I'll finance whatever he wants. Please, just ask him. Sleep now. Rest now. Forever. <laughs> Die as a human being. Well, what's left of a human. I would have lived forever. Who are you to decide my fate? Who gave you the authority? <laughs> I asked you the same question. It's kind of hypocritical for you to ask me the same. Oh, plus 500 shillings. Oh my gosh, I just opened the safe of his. And interesting that 
My eyes haven't changed. Whoa! Uh... He died on his own? Uh... Hi. Is it done, Dr. Reed? Is Aloysius Dawson reborn, as expected? Alas, Aloysius Dawson was not brought back to life after his death. The man is gone. What? What happened? He didn't survive the transformation. He didn't survive the procedure. He was too weak. This is unacceptable, nevertheless. You were given the simplest task. Well, get rid of me then. From now on, you're an outcast. Banished. You are forbidden to ever appear in front of us again. Ascalon will smite you on sight, and your heart will be thrown to the rats. I'll leave you then. Have fun with your puppets and shadow plays, Lord Redgrave. Yes, go, traitor, and take that awful creature, that counterfeit of a woman I saw waiting for you, and be gone! Well, nothing new. Again, you're hunting me. What kind of weapon do you have now, huh? Your most powerful weapon is gone. 